You all are the glory of the Father, and I really, really want to appreciate each and every one of you. I know that we are coming towards a season where everybody seems to be celebrating what they call the birth of Jesus. And um, I believe I've shared a video here before helping us to understand that Christmas is idolatry. Isaiah chapter 1 and the book of Amos chapter 5. So we begin to understand that the Father says, your festivities, I hate them. <laughs> Do you see? These days that you've marked on the calendar for me, I hate them. So you can begin to understand that I know a lot of people celebrate it. The Bible says there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. But we also have to be very careful because if God says he hates something, why is it that everything God hates is what the world is celebrating? And we as sons, we ought to rise up, not going according to the patterns of the world, but coming out from them. But we tend to have a habit of joining them and then bringing it into Christ and expecting Christ to accept it. But the Bible already tells us about these things. And just because Jesus has come, died, resurrected, does not mean the laws of God has changed. God says, I do not change. Jesus said, I am today, yesterday, <laughs> and forever. So if God does not change, and Jesus is the same, yesterday, today, and forever, then why do we continue to now try to use Jesus to justify the reason for idolatry? Can you see that? Because Jesus wasn't born on December 25. And you have to understand that at the same time, that if Jesus wanted us to celebrate his date of birth, it would have been added to the Bible. So which means his coming, that date is of no significance. But we have to understand the reason why he came. And that is in John chapter 18. It says, I was born and I came. So his birth was not here on earth. He referred to his birth in heaven from the father being born of the father and the cult is basically manifestation on earth as is coming i was born and i came <laughs> do you see that dimension because when the angels were celebrating you know they were saying the good they were celebrating the good news with the shepherd in the wilderness it, you know people have now taken that to justify the reason why we should celebrate the birth no because the bible says for unto us a child is born and unto us a son is given so it was born but it wasn't given to us until he became a son and that should be the celebration because you are now a son that's the reason why when he resurrected you died with him and when he resurrected you were born that's why you're born again so we don't celebrate the birth <laughs> where he came as a baby no not at all you should be celebrating your birth in the father as jesus celebrated that birth that is why in the book of titus he said we should not concern ourselves with genealogies and that's what we do celebrating christmas idolatry and because of this idolatry is the reason why there is the rise of witchcraft and all of those things because we are helping them to actually celebrate idolatry and to manifest their witchcraft upon creation and it's for that reason i wanted i want to share this counsel and i want to share it from a, from a place of te a testimony so I remember there was a person that, you know, I believe I thought that person at that moment in time, they were of Christ. Yes. So, you know, we're basically fasting and praying because then I thought they were of Christ. So I remember there was a day, you know, I wanted to go and get some groceries, you know, and some fruits at the same time. And this person suggested, yeah, I'll get the fruits for you. And also, I believe I wanted to get some plantains and things like that. And she said, yeah, I'll get the plantains too. Do you see that? So she brought the fruits and the plantain. I said, you know, I'll come and collect it from, from you by the roadside. Don't go to your house. I'll come by the roadside to get it off you. You know, trying to basically create boundaries. But eventually she took it home and said, hey, come and get it at home. So I went and collected it. But to God be the glory, when I got home, the Lord basically instructed all those plantains, cut it into pieces, and throw it in a bin. That's what I did. 
but with the fruits because of the ignorance i didn't realize you know i basically ate them <laughs> can you see but we thank god for the mercy of god because the lord began to reveal behind the scenes that this person was chanting over those foods can you see the chanting on the fruits she was so you can begin to understand that what you know even the money in which she basically used to buy those things were a place of idolatry because she was a witch and a prostitute so you can begin to understand that in that dimension i was receiving something that was not of the lord and the other in which i collected the plantain the lord said throw them completely away do you see that because the diabolical works that has gone on it the lord was preventing me from it so it's a way the lord is basically helping majority of you to understand that in this period of festivity that is coming you know a lot of people are gonna wanting to get shopping for you and things like that this is not my counsel for you to say don't accept it no i'm not basically sharing that with you because the lord can choose to bless anyone he wants to bless but the counsel is you need to be sober and to be vigilant yes you need to be sober and to what to be vigilant yes because you know you have to understand if people are celebrating idolatry the gifts that are being given to you is what rewards for idolatry and the bible already tells us touch not the unclean thing come out from amongst them can you see that come out from among them and touch not the unclean, unclean thing so this is where it's helping majority of us to understand that the gifts that people are going to be given you know whether it's food shopping or whatever it is we need to be careful so in the line of this it's, it's referring to food yeah we need to be careful of the food that we accept from people i'm not saying don't i'm just saying be careful so in your time of prayer to the lord he will tell you don't accept from this person accept from that person because do you know why whatever the person was doing with those fruits you know there were you know there were all manners of insects animals and all of those things being used as what as spies you know around after eating them can you see that in itself but we thank god because the lord who is what who is faithful and just he brings us out of darkness into his marvelous light that is why we can share this testimony do you see that because the reason why some people go through is to set others free because if the lord can show them mercy he's trying to show you mercy too do you see that in itself so this is where the lord is helping you to understand that for whatever gift that people are giving to you you have to question the lord sometimes they can give it to you and he will tell you i need you to give them away do you see that don't touch it don't eat it don't spend it don't use it just give it what give it away do you see that so i want you to just be intentional in obeying the instruction of the lord because this can save somebody's life because for some people you know it's a prayer that we've been we have been praying if you've been following us in the time of prayer that you know if there is any assignment of death over your life in this year that you will not make it that contract that assignment is broken do you see that but it's a place at the same time you have to be intentional on what what the lord tells you to do do you see that dimension whatever he tells you you do it give it away give it away because you have to understand it he who is able to keep you up from, from what from falling he is able to keep you from what from stumbling do you see that dimension and i pray that the lord will continue to be with you to uphold you to strengthen and to empower you for you to be able to say no lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the wicked one so you can see that woman she was a witch an enchanter and all of those things but we thank god because he who is faithful indeed he has been faithful and i just want to surround you all with the wall of fire and the quickening spirit of the lord in order to what walk in wisdom when she calls on to you to help you to navigate away from the what adulterous woman from the enchantress from the witch from the idolatries in jesus name amen and amen i bless each and every one of you to god be the glory i bless you all I love you so very much. Amen.